Hi, I'm William Thomas with Clear H2O, and we're here visiting with Tony Britt, hatchery manager for Hubbard Breeders at their Pikeville, Tennessee facility to learn how they're incorporating gel technology into their hatchery management practices. Welcome, Tony. Thanks an awful lot for letting us take a little bit of your time. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Tony, Hubbard Breeders is clearly among the early adopters of gel drop technology. What is it about this new tool that you found of interest to incorporate into your hatchery management practices? Well, the first element in which that we tried the application was for a feed additive, uh, because us having to ship birds uh, quite a far distance from our facility. And so what we did is we went ahead and used your technology uh, to allow the bird to have less stress on it by wetting the bird or giving something in the uh, bottom of the pan that would actually wick out and cause wet spots. So we found it very valuable to go ahead and administer it and then allow the birds to preen uh, and settle down before their trip. Had you been using a hydration supplement before? We have. Yeah. We've used several before this technology came out. And, of course, the first one was the HydroAid, uh, which was a better product than what we were currently using, which we won't mention the name. Uh, but we worked very intrinsically with them to try to come up with a formulation for this supplement to help the birds travel. And so then we went to your system originally, uh, and then as you advanced with your technology, so did we. And so we incorporated this on our line, and since then, you've incorporated even better product. So beyond hydration supplementation, you're also using HydroDrop for vaccine delivery? We've, we've actually uh, went out and, and worked with some of our vaccine uh, vendors to give us the uh, premises of how that they would like to mix this vaccine in with, it, with the product. And so currently what we're doing is adding uh, for probiotics. We're using it for probiotic use. We're also using it as a coccidiosis vaccine administration. So before HydroDrop technology, how were coxie vaccine and probiotics being administered? Uh, both of those was mixed into just a water solution, which is typically around 76 degrees or room temperature. Uh, and this was delivered through a 21 ml uh, water system, uh, which would leave large water droplets on the bird, and so that it would actually uh, wet the bird. Uh, and then we would have to protect the bird from wind uh, so that he wouldn't chill, because the body temperature on the floor is around 104 degrees. Yeah. Uh, we found out when we sprayed it with the water droplet itself, uh, we could drop down into the 98 degree range. Uh, when we use the uh, gel technology, uh, at 104, we're only dropping a half uh, to one full degree before they start to uh, regenerate their, their own temperature. Okay, so from an administration standpoint, you found some increases in efficiency, consolidating into the gel, and better temperature management of the birds. Right, and that's all based upon for the stress level of what the bird requires so that he can settle down and go ahead and rest before his long journey. Okay, did you find the need for any workflow adjustments on the chick floor? in incorporating the gel drop applicator? No, your, your service rep had came down and we sent pictures up of our line and so when it came and was unpacked by, by the, uh, your service guy, uh, it went right online and uh, hooked right into a system that we had uh, for electrical and uh, it was just an easy in, easy out application. Now in terms of just the technology of topical gel application, what are some of the, I guess, advantages that you've observed uh, from a performance standpoint uh, that may have resulted as a result of this technology? Well, there's, there's two focuses upon the product. One is a hydration element and two is a delivery system. And so when we first went to the new system of, of hydration performance, we were really using those for the 30 to 35 week program that we were. We did see an increase on the seven day, or a decrease rather, in the seven day mortality. Uh, so we contributed that to go ahead of less stress plus allowing them to have the hydration. Then as you, you developed, uh, we also were able to put in a dietary supplement uh, that we've added in there on our own uh, grandparent stock that is seamed. Uh, we don't have the reports back yet because they're still in grow, but uh, we've, we've seen that they've got better uniformity. As an earlier adopter, you've seen the gel drop technology evolve. What are some of the improvements that you'd still like to see? Just thinking out loud, uh, we've seen quite a bit of uh, benefit from the changes that's already been incorporated. And so I think the technology of the delivery system is very well. Uh, the, the pressure system works a whole lot better than the serene system, which is on some of the competitor side. And so we get an easier, more fluid uh, delivery system. 
And so I don't know that there's going to be much unless you're able to help us with a cleaning measure with the mm -hmm. head a little bit more. But other than that, it's a good, easy operational machine. Uh, Component-wise, uh, you know, we've, we've not had anything to break down or tear down since we've installed the newest version uh, on our line. And so it's very opportunity for you uh, to be able to concentrate more on the product itself. Uh, the product has changed, as you know, over the years. Uh, we have had our uh, nutritionists involved in some of this in selecting our dietary uh, supplement that we needed. And so you rose to the occasion to add that information into the system and deliver it. And so now uh, we've gone through several elements uh, from the wicking sense from the paper up to that to which is the adhesion to the bird to allow it to preen as much as it can and consume as much as it can. And so uh, you're going to have to tell me where you're going because as of right now, we're satisfied. Yeah. How much hydrodrop is the right amount in your applications? Well, currently we're, we're actually, when the vaccine we mix with is we're meeting the recommendations of the 21 to 22 cc's. Although if we see the product needing to be readministered again, then we're going to send it back through, which is going to give us about a 44 cc delivery. Uh, that's going to depend on the amount of intake or ingestion on the first round uh, and also the duration of the trip that they have to go. We ship birds out of Pikeville, Tennessee worldwide. Uh, and so uh, the next time the product will be used, it will be going on an order going to Israel. So it will receive two rounds of dose. All right, so, so the, the total amount of gel is over 40 mils, about 40 mm -hmm. plus 42 mils. That is correct. Okay, all right. And in, in terms of any feedback from uh, as the chicks are arrive or from the customers that are receiving these, these birds, have you gotten any feedback on the, the performance and, and condition of those birds? Uh, believe it or not, from the, our deliveries that are on the other side of the Mississippi, we do see a uh, better seven day and they do call back and say that they do see some better activity with the birds when they get on the litter. And so what do you attribute it to? Uh, it's one of those that you have to give it to all causes, uh, whether it's the hydration, whether it's the medication delivery, whether it's transportation or actually a hatchery hatching well one day. Uh, it all works itself together. Terrific. Tony, what's your recommendation to poultry industry colleagues that may be considering incorporating gel drop technology into their hatchery? Uh, my advice would be, why are you not on it already? Terrific. Well, thank you very much, Tony. I appreciate your insights as to how Hubbard is incorporating this technology. Uh, we certainly uh, look forward to continued to development to uh, make it even better. Thanks very much. Thank you, Bill.